story tonight at 10. A sentencing in a case that federal prosecutors are calling one of the most serious they have ever seen. This man here, Robert Elliott of Shelbyville, pleaded guilty to charges related to multiple murder for hire plots. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Alia Blackburn. Beershell is off tonight. A judge sentenced Elliot to more than 40 years in federal prison for the crimes. Yeah, Fox 59's Max Lewis shows us what he did and how he got caught. This case started back in 2017 when 24 year old Robert Elliott began a relationship with a 16 year old girl. He was arrested after battering her, and his most heinous crimes began when he was picked up for violating a no contact order. His bond was revoked, and he was thrown into the Shelby County Jail. It was there he used a jail phone to instruct his mom to hire a member of the Hells Angels motorcycle gang and pay them 500 bucks to kill the 16 year old girl's mother, who was a witness in the case against him. To attack a witness to a crime, to attack victims to a crime, and to try to have them killed while you're in jail for these offenses is just some of the worst you know, criminal conduct that one can imagine. But U.S. Attorney Zach Myers says his efforts didn't stop there. Elliot offered three Shelby County inmates $5,000 to kill the 16-year-old victim, her mother, and another witness. Fellow inmates were not having it and did not want to participate in these crimes and get themselves in even more trouble. But he still wasn't done. While in federal custody, Elliot hired a man who he believed to be a hitman for the cartel. In a letter, Elliot wrote to him, quote, I have two people that I need you to find and take care of. He offered a motorcycle, guns, and ammunition as payment. But what he didn't know was that the hitman was an undercover agent. Soon after, the FBI raided the home of Elliot's grandfather in Shelby County. And lo and behold, what do they find? The motorcycle, weapons, and ammunition intended to be traded for the lives of these witnesses. Elliot eventually pled guilty to two counts of murder for hire, two counts of witness tampering, and one count of being a felon in possession of a firearm. Attorney Meyer says his days of mob boss behavior behind bars are over. I think he's going to find that the Federal Bureau of Prisons is going to adequately secure everybody from his attempts to you know, further harm the community. Judge Tanya Walton Pratt ordered Elliot to serve five years probation following his prison term. He was also ordered to pay $5,000 each in restitution to his victim and her mother, who he tried to have killed. In Indianapolis, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Max, thank you. It is a chilly night in central Indiana.